Messi's swollen ankle causes a scare in Argentina, still managed to train with his teammates. Although Leo Messi trained normally with the rest of his teammates ahead of Argentina's opening game at the Qatar 2022 World Cup, images of his right ankle raised doubts about his condition. The PSG star's ankle has an inflammation. Although it is normal for him and is not associated with any current bone or ligament injury, according to his inner circle, the swelling on his ankle is said to be the result of a bandage with frozen gel, which is a cryotherapy treatment to avoid the use of anti-inflammatory drugs. Without official information from the AFA, the PSG player showed no signs of pain and, in fact, finished the training session well, being part of the starting lineup. Therefore his starting spot for the World Cup opener against Saudi Arabia this Tuesday at the Lusail Stadium is not in any kind of danger. The captain is fit and wants to make an impact on Arabian soil. Iran players refuse to sing their own anthem. Their fans booed it too. God Save the King was played at the Khalifa International Stadium and the England players sang it at the top of their lungs. The Iranian anthem was also played but none of the 11 players sang the words of the anthem in response to the situation back home. The fans of the team coached by Carlos Cuerras at the Qatar 2022 World Cup chose to boo the anthem from the stand. The reason? The repression of women that the country has been experiencing for decades which has come to the fore in recent weeks. The World Cup in Qatar has put on the table the violation of human rights in certain countries, and the Iranian national team took the opportunity to make their message clear. Iranian messages in the stands. In the stands of the Khalifa International Stadium there are also quite a few Iranian fans with messages towards the women of their country. Several posters and t-shirts were seen in a country that is going through a very complicated political situation. Woman. Life. Freedom. The protests are directed at the Iranian regime for the murder of Masa Amini, the 22-year-old woman who in September was arrested and mistreated by a section of the police for not respecting the Iranian dress code by not wearing the hijab properly. Her murder, accompanied by the violence to which she was subjected and the lies of the Iranian government, has raised the ire of the population because of the abuse to which women are subjected. With tears, placards and demands such as please tell our story, the Iranian people, for the majority at the England-Iran match, protested during the second match of this World Cup. Many eyes are on Bayer Leverkusen striker Sardar Asma. He was a substitute on Monday and has not played since late September due to injury. He has posted several messages on social media in support of the revolution, which almost cost him his place in the national team. Cristiano Ronaldo, I'd like to be the one to checkmate Messi. The Portuguese captain made an unscheduled appearance at a press conference. Cristiano Ronaldo might be one of the biggest stars at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, but the Portugal captain has made headlines for his off-the-field actions in recent weeks. The striker took part in an explosive interview with British journalist Piers Morgan, harshly criticizing his current club Manchester United with many believing he has burned his bridges with the club once and for all. One of the fallouts of the interview was allegedly a rift with fellow United player Bruno Fernandes. However, Ronaldo made an unscheduled appearance at a Portugal press conference to clear the air. Time is always time, Ronaldo said. Sometimes you write truths, sometimes you write lies. I don't have to worry about what others think. I speak when I want to. Everybody knows who I am. What I believe in. I speak when I want to, I'm bulletproof. Having been on the bench for a large part of the season, Ronaldo's form was seen as a bit of a concern. The striker however said there is no such issue. I'm already recovered. I feel ready to start the World Cup in the best way and achieve the objectives, Ronaldo continued. My memories are good and others not so good, but like everything in life, World Cups are something different. The world stops. Everyone wants to see you play and talk about the competition. Ronaldo also stated that he would like to checkmate Lionel Messi on the field of play after beating him in a friendly chess game. It will be my fifth World Cup. I am focused and very confident that I will do well, Ronaldo said. We're checkmating in life, not just in chess. I would like to be the one to checkmate Messi. Let's see. It would be nice. Since it happened in a game of chess, in football it would be more. Ronaldo also elaborated on the recent ad that was aired, which featured the pair of them. It was a campaign I wanted to do, a campaign I had been looking for for a long time, Ronaldo continued. It was a source of pride. Ronaldo again insisted he had no problems with any of his teammates and took no issue with Iker Casilla's recent comments about him. Iker I have a great relationship, Ronaldo stated. We played together and won jobs. We know how it works in the press, what is said is often for relevance. I agree with him and I hope to prove it once again. My motivation is day after day and to go out in the street and see the joy of the children when they see me. These pre-tournament phases always have controversy, but my relationship with him is excellent. Everything about Cristiano always generates debates. But I insist, my relationship with the whole team is excellent. With Bruno, with Cancelo, with Joe Felix. And I take this opportunity. Don't ask the players about Cristiano. Ask about them in Portugal. 